No bike lane on a bridge? Well, no problem. Just use a water bike. That's what Judah Scheller did to cross the Hudson River on Thursday when he became the first person to ever ride a bike across the iconic waterway. Any bike can be turned into a water bike, according to Scheller, who founded the Bay Cycle Project in San Francisco, an organization dedicated to water biking. It's a perfect commute. I think the time it takes to buy a ticket for the ferry, to sit on the ferry, get off, do all those things. Again, a little bit of infrastructure. This could be even easier and certainly cheaper than riding the ferry. Any bike in theory can go on this. The reality is the system that I'm riding was developed in the late 90s. Bikes have evolved considerably, you know, to now 2014. Different size frames, different size forks. Um, so that's what we're working on at Base Cycle Project is to design something that really fits the needs of, you know, bikes that we all use here in the United States. The bike is retrofitted with a drive mechanism that is attached near the seat post. There's also a heavy cylinder, much like the kind that is used on stationary bikes. So as the rider pedals, the cylinder moves and then turns the propeller. There are two inflatable pontoons that can be blown up just before a rider hits the water. The entire system folds up into a backpack and weighs less than 20 pounds. The Bay Cycle Project plans to bring water biking to the masses in 2014 when it launches a tour through other U.S. cities including Miami, San Diego, Los Angeles and Portland.